Under the fairing of today's Ariane 5, GSAT-24, a telecommunication satellite weighing 4,180 kilos. This passenger, owned and operated by New Space India Limited, NSIL, was built by Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. This KU band satellite will provide direct to home DTH services in India. This is a communication satellite having 24 KU band transponders specifically uh, designed to service uh, the sectors which are using uh, DTS services. We have designed this satellite uh, based on the very proven uh, bus of uh, I-3K. Uh, it's a bent pipe spacecraft. We hope that uh, with this launch of uh, GSAT-24, uh, the, this sector, which is primarily meeting the demands of the uh, television broadcasting services in India, will really get a, a big boost. Thanks to the satellite, the company will be able to offer more high-definition channels to its customers and increase the robustness of its signal in case of atmospheric rains. It is the first demand-driven satellite launched for the government of India. Once launched into geostationary orbit, the satellite capacity on board GSAT-24 will be utilized by only one client. NSIL got mandated to undertake satellite missions on a demand-driven model. In fact, the entire satellite capacity has been leased to Indian DTS service provider, Messrs. Data Play, for the entire life of the satellite, which is 15 years. Launching this passenger is an important new step for India's space program. With the successful launch of GSAT-24, NSIL would be owning and operating nearly 11 Indian communication satellites in orbit and meeting the service needs of the users in India on a commercial basis. A new milestone in the long-time partnership linking Aryan space to India. Their story began in 1981 with the launch of Apple satellite on board the third Ariane 1 ever launched. 41 years later, GSAT-24 is now all set and ready to begin its 15-year journey to space.